Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm bringing you tons of fall cleaning motivation. So let me know in the comments what's on your to-do list today. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as it helps out my channel so much. And please consider subscribing if you're new. I'm so glad you decided to stop by today. Let's get cleaning. I'm starting out cleaning in the kitchen today as I feel like I start the majority of my cleaning videos because this is always the dirtiest spot in my entire house. I just had a few dishes in the sink that I needed to take care of and then I'm going to get started on actually cleaning out the sink. This is something I try to do at least once a week but it had been a little while since I had gotten it done and today I'm actually using a new cleaner. I am using the Cloth and Bristle number one natural household cleaner and they just sent this to me to try out and so far I have used it only in the sink and I'm really excited to try it out on other surfaces because they say that it's good for all types of surfaces, kitchen, bathroom, things like that. It's an all natural cleaner and I will say it did not do as well on my stainless steel sink with the shine. I love my barkeeper's friend for that but of course that is not a natural product but this did a really nice job of getting all the gunk out of the sink and it definitely made it smell and look a whole lot better so I will have to report back really soon as to how much I am loving using this on other surfaces in my house but they did give me a discount code for you guys if you're interested and I will leave all of that information down in the description box if you're interested in trying it out after I clean the sink I forget that there's one other thing that I wanted to clean and this is the um, fixture that goes over my kitchen table it's just like the base part of it I really wanted to clean this out because I think I have only cleaned it one other time since hanging it up almost a year ago so it was pretty dusty and gross and this is not one of those fixtures that you can just wipe the outside and call it good you have to clean the inside too I just really love the way glass um, light fixtures look like this but the problem is is that they show every bit of fingerprints and dust and dirt so you do have to regularly take them down and wipe them so if you need a friendly reminder to get yours done then here is that reminder I did have to have um, Jack help me to take it down and put it back up and it certainly looked a lot better once I put the light back on and you'll see the one in the hallway back there behind us we were able to do that one without having to take it down I could just get like a rag up inside of there pretty easily so if you need to tackle your light fixtures then I hopefully this helped to remind you to do it finishing up the last of this spiced pumpkin multi-surface spray from Mrs. Myers and I did get a bunch of other fall scented ones um, like the mum scent I think I use at the end of this video and I also have the apple cider scent let me know in the comments which fall scent is your favorite I've got to know because I have a favorite mine is the apple cider for sure I love the way the dish soap and the hand soap smells but I want to know what your favorite is and of course the um, winter scents I just noticed are on the Grove Collaborative already so if you are interested in getting some of the Mrs. Meyers winter scented um, cleaning products then I'll have my Grove Collaborative linked in the description box if you want to get a free set definitely be sure to check that out. So I have a feeling that my mom friends are probably a lot better at this than I am, but it had been a while since I had sprayed and wiped down the chairs. I feel like I do the table pretty frequently, but I mean, I'm an adult, so I don't always get like tons of messes on the chairs in my kitchen, but I'm sure those of you who have kids are constantly wiping the chairs down. So this was something that I needed to do. And then if you've seen any of my cleaning videos before, you know that I like to stack the chairs on top of the table. That way I can let my robot vacuum do like a quick tidy up all around the base of the table. Thank you. 
I didn't do a ton of laundry on this day, but I did want to throw in just a tiny bit of laundry motivation in case you need some motivation to take care of the laundry in your house. I actually was pretty caught up on it today, so I was pretty impressed. But let me know if you guys would like to see my laundry routine. I know that it's kind of different when you don't have kids. The laundry routine is really, really different, but let me know if that's something that you'd be interested in. I'm also happy to make a full day of laundry video if that's something you guys would like. So let me know if that's something that you're interested in down below. I don't need no one to say you're complicated Cause I knew from the start this might be overrated The bathroom was on my to-do list today and I just needed to take care of this. It had been quite a while since I had done the bathroom and I don't know if it's just because I only really use one bathroom in the house that it just gets so dirty so fast. Sometimes I try to do like a middle of the week wipe down of just like the sink and the toilet and stuff but let me know how often you guys do your bathrooms in the comments. I'm really curious. I feel like if it's a half bath that doesn't get used very often maybe you don't clean it very much but this is like the only bathroom in my house that i really use so i feel like it gets dirty a lot faster than some of you who maybe have two and three and four bathrooms in your home so let me know how often you clean them i'm curious when i say you need you and you hit the direction that's leading away from away from me baby
If you're enjoying this video, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. It really helps out my channel so, so much. I still cannot even believe that I have ads running on my channel right now and that I have hit over 1,000 subscribers here. I feel so, so lucky every single day that I get to share great content with you guys and motivate you. I'm so grateful for this community that I have here on YouTube. Losing track, losing track, even God knows don't try Josie always has to steal the show. I feel like in every video, she just wants to be the center of attention, but she is always obsessed when I mop just because I think she thinks the mop head is a toy, so she always follows it around. It's really, really precious. But anyway, I just used a little bit of the Mrs. Meyers Multi-Surface Concentrate in my mop bucket, and you guys have heard me say it a thousand times that I love this O Cedar Spin Mop, and if you have floors that are very similar to mine, then you need to get your hands on this mop. And I'm really curious because I know that Prime Day is coming up and a lot of things are on sale right now so I'm gonna have to keep an eye on some of my favorite cleaning tools and things and see if they go on sale and I would love to share them with you over on Instagram so make sure that you're following me over there as well. I'm going to put my kitchen table back together, put everything back on it now that the floors are clean, and then we are gonna tackle cleaning up my fridge because it has been severely neglected and it needed a pretty good wipe down. So if you are in need of taking care of your refrigerator too, then get to it. I 
feel like I'm the condiment queen. There's just like a million condiments on my door and I feel like that area of the refrigerator is never empty and you'll have to excuse all of the White Claw cans that are in the fridge, but we have been enjoying having White Claws in the evening. Let me know what your favorite beverage is in the comments. I feel like White Claws are definitely my go-to, but I also love seasonal beers, and I just really love the way like pumpkin things taste in general, so let me know what your beverage of choice is right now. How could I know there was no second chances like dominoes? So come on, why won't you reappear? Things that I said came out totally wrong. Can't speak of the truth when it's tainted. I fell into a big black hole. It got me stone cold. My office was another area of the house that had been neglected for a little bit and I don't really clean too often in here because it's just me mostly spending time in here and I don't make a huge mess so not a big deal but I did need to wipe down the entire desk area there was so much dust and also my computer monitor and stuff was really dusty as well so I just hit a couple of the surfaces in here and in just a second you guys are gonna see the letter board that I hung up on my wall I just love to change out the quotes that are on my letter board every so often but now that I am back at school working and we've got kids in the building and just life is really crazy with school and everything, I just had to change out my letterboard quote, so I hope you guys enjoy it. The last thing that I'm gonna do in today's video is just run the dishwasher because I really try to do this every evening and I try not to let it go overnight with a dishwasher full of dirty dishes because one, that's really gross and two, that just leaves a lot more work for me the next day. And I'm just gonna give those stainless steel appliances a nice wipe down so that they are super shiny. I love this method, stainless steel cleaner. It is the best. You can so see the before and after in this, just how much shinier it is. But that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed it. And make sure that you check out the description box below if you're interested in trying out Cloth & Bristles number one natural household cleaner. And I'll see you guys again real soon with a brand new video. Bye guys.